Today we're going to talk about SOLIDWORKS and Rhino and what they have to offer. So what are the differences between them and which one is better? That's what we are going to talk about today. Rhinoceros 3D, also known as Rhino, is a 3D design software that was developed in 1980. This software allows you to create advanced shapes with great precision and detail, whether it be from a drawing, a sketch, or even a 3D scan. This computer-aided design software can also be used for 2D drawing, but it is not the main purpose of its development. Whether it be rapid prototyping or production, there are many tools and features offered by this program that can get the job done. SOLIDWORKS was created in 1993 by John Herchik, and it was purchased in 1997 by the company Dassault Systems. It is a CAD software that allows you to create 2D drafts and complex 3D models with a high degree of efficiency. It provides better designs, visualization of products, in addition to faster iterations. Also improved communications that helps engineers and designers to do their job properly. What are SOLIDWORKS and Rhino used for? SOLIDWORKS is a 3D modeler that uses parametric design tools. It generates three types of files relating to 3D basic concepts, which are the part, the assembly, and drawings. It is used to develop mechatronic systems from start to end. At the initial stage, the software is used for planning, visual ideation, modeling, feasibility assessment, prototyping, and project management. The software is often used in the design and building of mechanical, electrical, and architectural elements. Rhino, on the other hand, is a CAD software with a multitude of modeling tools which allows you to model a wide variety of shapes without limiting the creativity. It can create, edit, analyze, document, render, animate, and translate nerve curves, surfaces, and solids without limits. This surface modeling software is commonly used for architecture, prototyping, engineering, jewelry, and automotive design. Rhino also supports polygon meshes and point clouds. Its accuracy and flexibility makes it possible for you to explore and build your ideas and bring them to life. Modeling and Design Differences SOLIDWORKS and Rhino are both used to make drawings and create models, but the process of creating these models can be a bit different. SOLIDWORKS, as you might understand from its name, is primarily a solid modeler. It is parametric, which means you assign dimensions to your geometry that it will show directly on the interface. You can build or design with surfaces or by creating any shapes you can imagine. Besides this, you can also use a solid modeling to create complex designs because the software has many tools and features, but there are some limitations as well. SOLIDWORKS comes with a box of tools that you can use freely in different situations. It is mainly known for its 3D features, but you can also draw 2D stuff in it. You can use its tools to convert your 3D models into 2D drawings and add annotations, or you can draw your own designs using basic shapes like circles, lines, and so on. Rhino uses the curve modeling technique with non-uniform rational base lines. This technique involves performing its modeling by working on curves rather than connecting polygons. You can therefore create your own surfaces in three dimensions by making changes on curves. It is a type of modeling that allows you to optimize the number of facets when making the surface of the object. It is also one of the most precise methods for delivering high-quality 3D models and prototypes, especially in the automotive, jewelry, and the aeronautics industry. Rhino provides access to a wide range of tools to develop your projects, whatever your field is. You will find all the basic tools and transformation tools that allow you to control points, curves, and surfaces. Your 2D work can also benefit from the strength of Rhino, thanks to the features of Make 2D that have been redesigned completely in addition to other tools. Animation and Simulation in SOLIDWORKS and Rhino It is possible to create animations and realistic simulations with both SOLIDWORKS and Rhino, but not in the same way. In SOLIDWORKS, you can create animations by dragging the time bar along the timeline to the specific point you choose, then drag the component you want to create the animation with to a target location. The motion manager moves the component from its initial position to the position you designated at a specific time. You can also use animation assist to create animations or add rotation, bursts, and gatherings to existing motion studies. On the other hand, Rhino provides limited tools for creating animations of your models because Rhino includes no tools for advanced animation. Animation tools move only the camera and the sun when rendering the frames or creating a series of still images. 
These still images can be combined into an animation later on. Rendering in Rhino and SolidWorks. Both SolidWorks and Rhino allow their users to create realistic renders that will show and present their models in a better way. It is possible to create photorealistic animations and renderings with SolidWorks thanks to PhotoView 360, which makes things much easier. PhotoView 360 is a SolidWorks recent add-in that produces photorealistic renderings of models. The rendered images shows details of the model in addition to decals included with the model. It is available with SolidWorks Professional or SolidWorks Premium. Rhino can also be used for creating high-quality renderings or for enhancing your presentations as well. This software can let you create powerful renderings with many features for lighting, texturing, and cameras. Rhino even has a ray trace viewport mode that allows for fast, iterative ray tracing in the viewport that is accelerated on the GPU of the modern CUDA and OpenCL graphics cards. This will allow you to see how your materials and textures react to light in real time instead of wasting time in traditional renders. Rhino does also offer tools for generating UV maps for any type of 3D model if you want to have control over where the textures are going to be located in the model, or if your designs are too complicated or need extra details. In addition to that, there is a big library of ready materials that you can apply on the fly to see different results as you test them in the ray traced viewport mode. Industries that use SOLIDWORKS and Rhino SOLIDWORKS is used by a wide range of industries like technical design, engineering, and manufacturing. It is also used by medical device companies, transport factories, and technical services. Rhino is mainly used in architecture, industrial design, and jewelry and fashion accessories. It is also used by automotive designers and artisans because of the precision and the possibility of creating free forms. The Learning Curve SOLIDWORKS is user-friendly, and the user interface is intuitive. There are many sources for help that are available in case you want to learn something about it. The projects are also easier to manipulate after they have been already completed due to SOLIDWORKS' flexibility. Rhino 3D is also easy to learn, but you still need some experience and practice to fully benefit from its features. It provides many functionalities that will help you to get a better result. Its interface is clean as well. Generally, for both software, it will take you hundreds of hours to reach mastery if you never used a design software before, but you can still do a lot with just one month of training. However, if you are familiar with CAD concepts and tools, it will be just a matter of relearning the tools and what they do. Pricing and Licensing One license of SOLIDWORKS standard is $3,995. The annual subscription service for a standard license, which covers technical support, upgrades, and more from one year, is $1,295. However, this software offers a free 12-month license for all qualified educators, hobbyists, students, and sponsored organizations. SOLIDWORKS is available on Windows, Mac, and can also be used on many portable devices to make the process easier for a wide range of designers. The current version of Rhino starts at $995 per user, and they do not have a free version. Rhino also does not offer a free trial, but when it comes to the previous version, you can get a free trial that allows you to use the software for 90 days. This software is available for both Windows and Mac. Final thoughts. SOLIDWORKS is an excellent product for mechanical engineering and manufacturing. It is one of the most popular 3D CAD software in the world. It is preferred and recommended for a 3D parametric design approach because due to the variety of tools it offers. And if the design is already done, you can still make changes whenever you want. Besides, its workflow is great for getting to the finished model, using a parametric workflow when the change is needed after a model is completed. However, if you are a designer in the automotive or aeronautic industry, Rhino is the best way to go. This software allows you to create beautiful flowing surfaces that you can easily change. It is the best choice for micro designing and jewelry design as well, because of the great precision it can reach, in addition to the features of real-time rendering that can help with the process of iteration. Both SOLIDWORKS and Rhino are very helpful design tools that allow their users to translate imaginary ideas to reality. Each one of them is highly recommended by many professionals, however, before purchasing one of them or any other software, you should consider asking yourself what exactly you want and what you expect from the software. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos 
Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.